In this video, we're going to show you how to see what is driving up the size of your Excel file. And then for each reason we find, the subsequent episodes will show you how to compress it. There are five main reasons why Excel files explode in size. Images, large worksheets, pivot cache data, embedded objects, and external links. And each of those reasons requires a different approach to compression which we cover in the subsequent videos. Check out the description for the links to those videos. So let's get started by looking inside your file. We're going to use a free tool called 7-Zip. If you don't have it installed, you can download it and install it from the link in the description. If you're on a Mac, then unfortunately 7-Zip is unavailable. However, check out the blog linked to in the description below for an alternative way to achieve the same thing on a Mac. So here are some of my large Excel files. And what I need to do is just right click and I'm looking for the 7-zip option, open archive. So once I open the archive, I can see inside the Excel file, which is actually a type of zip file. In the Excel file, there's one main folder where most of the content resides and that is called Excel. So we're gonna double click to go in there. And then we're going to have a look at the folders to see what content is driving up the file size. Use the size column header to sort the content and pick out the elements that are contributing most to the overall file size. In this case, you can see that worksheets and pivot cache are the culprits. So these were mentioned among the reasons earlier, but on the screen now, we've got a full list of how to map the folders in the Excel file format to the reasons. The other videos in this series guide you through how to compress each type of content. For the file we just worked on, we should be looking at videos three and four. There's links to all of the videos in the description below. So let's try this again on another file. I'm going to right click the file, go to 7-zip, open archive, and then dive into the Excel folder. And for this file, you can see that embeddings is the problem. So now we should watch episode number five, how to compress embedded objects in Excel. You may not know, but you can actually use this same method for PowerPoint and Word files. To help you out, we've written some guides which are linked to in the description below. Please write in the comments if you found this useful, or if we've missed anything that could be of use to others. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.